Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and a brand new video, the start of a new building series. Alongside a fellow Conquest Reforged builder, my rusty gun, we have decided to work together on a brand new project, recreating the bohemian village of Chakov within a medieval 15th century setting. The idea for the project stemmed from us both wanting to create a more original project. The vanilla and Conquest Reforged Minecraft communities have plenty of cool projects relating to medieval Bohemia and the video game Kingdom Come Deliverance, so we kind of wanted to branch off from this and do something on our own. Chakov was a good choice for representing a medieval Bohemian village due to various features we deemed interesting. These included its well-preserved layout, good size, church, its location on a hill, different types of landscape around, and a good source of documentary evidence. High quality maps of the area dating back to 1826, courtesy of the Czech Surveying Office archives, helped us come to this decision. This gave us a good sense of direction for planning the project to achieve the highest level of realism possible. As there are currently two of us working on the project, we plan to work on a section of the project at a time in order to avoid burnout and maintain quality control, something we deem incredibly important. The plan shown represents our plans for creating Chakov. The peach colour in the centre of the map around the church marks the churchyard, with white space surrounding it, and the centre of the town representing roads and paths. Yellow blocks indicate the yards of various houses, which will make up the settlement. These will be made up of largely wood and or plaster with thatch roofs with the occasional use of stone. The priest's house, as well as parts of larger farms, may include elements of stone construction. The more desaturated green indicates the burgage plots tied to each house, which may have been used for grazing, meadows or orchards. So the next couple sections of the video are basically going to go into the history of the village and the surrounding area. Um, apologies in advance, I don't speak Czech, so pronunciations may be a little bit shaky, so uh, sorry in advance. The area was first mentioned in 1262 as Sheko, then referring to three settlements, Velki Chakov, also known as Chakov today, Mali Chakov, and Vrash, which was abandoned after the plague. The settlement was most likely founded during the early 13th century, most likely starting with a church from the start, followed by the current one, early 14th century, being the second one on the site. It was always owned by the Rosenberg family, and mostly gone from Chesky Krumlov. The village originally consisted of 10 farms, as mentioned in 1510, although we have 11 on our map so therefore one must be recent, and therefore the rectory. Current day houses are mostly 19th and 20th century, with the only known preserved medieval building being the church and its churchyard wall. The church was first mentioned in 1343, along with the rectory. It's dedicated to Saint Leonard of Limoges, patron saint of the imprisoned and of the cattle, hence why the church is depicted with chains covering it. The current church was probably all built during the early 14th century, indicated by the general proportions and especially the high gothic shape of the east window and the very low start of the ribs within the choir cross vault. The sacristy is a later attachment built against the angled corner buttress of the choir, but probably still late medieval. The church was later remodelled in Baroque and neoclassical style, which is mainly evident in the modern day tower which was heavily reworked. When it came to building the church, its shape and proportions are still original. The reconstruction was fairly easy with the nave roof still having its original pitch, although the choir roof was originally taller. The east window of the church is preserved and the south window of the choir can be traced, although it was a bit taller. The south door's location can be assumed to be original still, and the top of the tower probably had a wooden floor, similar to the one located at Bulletitz. A few interior features are well preserved such as the chancel arch and choir vault. 
therefore a lot is reconstructed from references, such as the gallery, altar locations, tabernacle niche, tower interior, and roof structure. The altars use paintings from late 14th to early 15th century Bohemia. Due to the patron saint's chains around the exterior, which were traditional in Bavaria and Austria, and since Chakov always stayed Catholic and was furthermore located at the border to Hussite regions, it can be assumed that such traditions probably existed there as well as and got strengthened during the 15th century. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. Both me and Rusty hope you have enjoyed this instalment, as well as the ones to come. There is currently no set schedule for this Let's Build series, but we aim to make the next video focused on the houses of Chakov, so that should be fun. Make sure to subscribe and check out all of my social media links in the description down below, especially my Discord server which you should totally join. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you in the next one.